at Jonathan. Dig in your Instagram feed. You ready to take a look at it? Let's do it. First one. You don't see it now, but you used to have some flow. Oh yeah. Yep. That's me and my dad. Sometime in college for sure. Got a little lettuce on the head. Yeah. Did you keep that all throughout college? Yeah, man. When I got to college, I just decided I wanted to grow my hair out and let it grow for a couple of years. Kind of looked like a hockey player. You could like pull off like a football player look right here. Yeah, man. I, I probably, uh, you know, could have lost a few pounds there, but <laughs> yeah, that was me and my wife uh, up in the mountains in Gatlinburg hanging out. Is that the look that she first met you in? No, man. I, I was in high school. I was like shaved head all, all the way. I just real short hair. Got to college, decided to grow it out. This next one, this is like Kenny Powers in a photograph right here. Kenny Powers, yeah, man, that's college stuff, but that's pretty cool. Somebody somebody actually sent me that picture, so I put it up. Yeah, I like the caption that you had, too. It said, America? America, <laughs> baby. Kenny Powers. You're a pretty good pool player, or is this just a one-time type thing? Man, I had a guy set this thing up for me. He just said, hit the white ball, hit it straight, and it'll all go in. I was like, all right. Is that like one of the things that you did during college, kind of like pool and like just kick it with the team? Yeah, me and a couple of my buddies went down to the pool hall a lot and just kicked it down there. So do you think that you could do this today if you were to try without your boy being there? No chance. No? No chance. I mean, <laughs> I, I can play pool all right, but, but I couldn't do that trick shot. So you're from Mississippi. You go fishing a lot? I go fishing all the time. Actually, I was on a bachelor party there, and we rented a couple of airboats and went down there and uh, went bow fishing. So you got this with a bow, not even a, a, a reel. Yeah, shot that with a bow. And this was actually down in uh, New Orleans. That was, yeah, south of New Orleans, down in, I think we were in Venice. Have you ever, like, uh, tried catching crawdads or anything like that, or, or crawfish? Uh, not catching them, but I like eating them, for sure. Yeah, those are good, right? Yeah. Better than crabs? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10 times. Easier to open. Much easier, much more flavor. Speaking of food, this was even before you got married to your wife, but she gave you a nice little Easter gift. Are these all your favorite things still? That's Thanks. it, my little Yeti koozie in the back. Hey. That's it, that's my favorite stuff. Then you guys eventually got married, and for your wedding you had posted this. This is uh, Lumberland, a bat mug, and all your boys got one. Yeah, yeah, so Lumberland hooked it up. You know, they sent me that custom mug, hooked me up with some mugs for all my groomsmen and my dad and everybody, so. Pretty, pretty nice. Did they also get the pinstripe one? No, those were just regular with their names engraved and, and the date of our wedding. Uh, we talked about your look with like the beard or the goatee and, uh, and the long hair here, looking straight out of GQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, my wife made me clean shave before the wedding. It's funny, the uh, champagne flute's empty because I thought it was supposed to be a shot when you hook your arms and take a drink. I thought it was supposed to be a shot, but <laughs> apparently you were supposed to just take a sip. So you took that all at once? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Beautiful wife, too. Wow. Hey, you're good. Yeah. You know she's Lucky probably me. watching. Lucky me. So does she get a kick out of all the, the holder holiday parties? Yeah, Because this man. one on Christmas looks like it was a good time. That's it. My, I come from a big family, and we did some Christmas games with all the kids, and I don't even remember what you did with that, but you somehow popped the balloons. I think it's like pantyhose or, you know, like stockings or something. Did you have to pick those up at the store or somebody no, else? No, no, that was given to me at the party. <laughs> awesome stockings and 50 <laughs> balloons. Here you and your wife are at a football game. Big football fans and the Saints. Yep, who that? How many games do you usually go to? Uh, we go to a couple games a year. So uh, This year we went to three games. So, I mean, we love going to New Orleans and hanging out and good fun down on uh, Bourbon Street, down there by the stadium. It's pretty cool. Here we got a tweet from Mississippi State where you went, obviously. So Jonathan Holder convinced our pilot to let him fly. Retweet if you think this is a good idea. And you actually got a nice amount of retweets. Yeah, man, I remember sitting there. I asked that pilot every question you could ask him about getting on an airplane. Anything anything I wanted to know, he was there and he answered it for us. And uh, that was a pretty, pretty good conversation. So at any point, did he kind of look at you being like, is this dude about to ask me if I could fly the plane? Oh, he was definitely <laughs> thinking it. I mean, I, I drilled him with questions. A thousand questions, for sure. <laughs> You are not rapping in this video, but the bench mob, you're oh, flexing yeah. like Rick Ross had a hustling on this one. <laughs> yeah, man, that was pretty good. Good college days. Me and, uh, you know, a couple of my buddies from college, Jacob Langer was 
probably the headliner there. Man, we're just having a good time and goofing off a little bit. Easy E, Evan Mitchell, man, he, he can rap. And uh, Slim Hossie, Ross Mitchell, yeah. they were the captains of the bench mob, so they were the uh, headliners. Does anybody ever bring this up? Oh yeah, man, I've seen that video a million times. A lot of people can't believe how much hair I had in it. Good times. Does it ever get old? Nah, man, it's fun. All for good fun. So when it comes to Instagram, what's your favorite part about it? And what do you enjoy most? Uh, I like Instagram because, you know, obviously pictures. You get to see what's going on in someone's life and actually get a visual. I don't post much, but when I do, usually it's pretty important to me and I, I let people, you know, see what's going on in my life. And now it's time for the plug. Why should they follow you? I think you should follow me because I won't blow your timeline up. But, you know, when I put something up, it's usually, it's usually pretty important. It's quality. Quality. <laughs>